even though you may find a data PID that says cooling system temperature, it's inferred or calculated from the cylinder head or metal temperature sensor. So it's an inferred or calculated coolant temp value. But if you have aluminum cylinder head and a cylinder head temp sensor, you will have the Ford fail-safe cooling system strategy. When it gets to a certain temperature, the computer will peg the temp gauge in the instrument cluster. Now this should scare the customer into stopping the engine, but let's say it does not. If they continue to drive the vehicle, the next stage of the fail-safe cooling system will shut off half of the injectors back and forth between the banks of the engine or every opposing cylinder. And what that's going to do is pump air through the engine without a combustion event happening and thus try to cool down the engine. Each phase has its very own trouble code. Stage number one, when a gauge pegs out, it sets a P1285. Stage number two, when it starts to cycle the injectors in an attempt to cool off the engine, it sets a P1299. The third level, they're going to completely shut down all injectors and you won't be able to run the engine. So there's three levels. First, we peg the gauge, make sure you know, the customer is going to see the peg gauge. Maybe it'll have an instrument cluster warning chime or a telltale information. Two, it's going to start pumping air through cylinders by shutting down the injectors. Three, it's just going to totally shut off the engine. So hopefully there won't be any damage from the engine overheating. So like I said, Ford's been using this since 2008, known as the Ford Failsafe Cooling Strategy.